Silence. All stand and remain standing until the conclusion of the reading of the proclamation. Ladies and gentlemen, the proclamation. All persons having any business before this honorable court now draw nigh, give your attendance, and you shall be heard. God save the Queen. Mr. Beltre, do you move? I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel to the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence next after my learned friend, Elizabeth Mary Peden. Thank you. Mr Downing, do you move? I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence next after my learned friend, Frank Anthony Veltro. Mr Fernan, do you move? I do, Your Honour. I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rake and precedence after my learned friend, Jason Downing. Mr. Pedrosian, do you move? Uh, I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence next after my learned friend, Andrew Francis Fernan. Mr. Mackay, do you move? I do, Your Honour. I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for New South Wales, taking rank and precedence after my learned friend, Bahan Perutian Pedrosian. Thank you. Ms Steele, do you move? I do, Your Honour. I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence after my learned friend, Kenneth Leslie Mackay. Mr Hogan Doran, do you move? I do, Your Honour. I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence next after my learned friend, Jody Antoinette Steele. Thank you. Mr, Mr. Katakar, do you move? I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence next after my learned friend, Justin Adrian Nash Ogendorf. Thank you. Ms Avenal, do you move? I do, Your Honour. I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed as Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence after being promoted to Lord Chancellor. Thank you. Cesara, do you move? I'm so sorry, Mr Harding, do you move? The honour to announce I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence next after my learned friend, Madeline Hagen. Thank you. Mr Zara, do you move? I do, Your Honour. I have the honour to announce that I have been appointed Senior Counsel for the State of New South Wales, taking rank and precedence after my learned friend, Andrew Charles Hardy. Thank you. Mr Potter, do you move? Um, can I congratulate you all, both personally and on behalf of all the judges of the Supreme Court, on your well-deserved appointment? May I also take this opportunity to acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land, the Gadigal people of the Aura Nation, past and, pre past and present and emerging, and pay my respects to, to them. Um, of course, like the many events we're conducting, the bow ceremony is a little bit different this year. It's what, for what you can call, for want of a better expression, a pandemic special, with two ceremonies being held and a YouTube live stream for each. Nonetheless, we're so glad we're able to have these celebrations and welcome you to the Supreme Court, whether in person or remotely for those watching online. I'm also delighted to see the variety of areas of practice from which you're drawn. Each practice area requires leaders. Your ability as an advocate is one quality which you have been appointed today. In your future career, I encourage you to use your advocacy skills outside areas of those which you have previously practised. I suggest, based on my own experience, that you'll find your future career far more interesting if you stretch yourself in this manner. This morning, I don't propose to give you a lecture on the responsibilities you have now assumed. That's, this is for two reasons. First, I dare say you know what they are, otherwise you wouldn't have been appointed, and simply, this is simply not the occasion. However, I do note 
that in times of great change and uncertainty, such as the present, the bar and the legal profession require leaders to maintain and strengthen the profession and to assist in the maintenance of the rule of law more than ever. I have no doubt that each of you will provide this leadership. I also encourage you to participate in matters affecting the bar and to generously offer encouragement and advice to the very junior at the bar, particularly in light of the present difficulties. In particular, I congratulate the six female, female appointees this year. I'm the first to admit there's still a long way to go in improving the diversity of the bar, particularly in positions of seniority. I know that the number of female appointees this, this year is roughly proportionate to the number of practising female barristers in, New, practicing barristers in New South Wales. I'm optimistic that as the number of the women at the bar increases in the future, so too will the number of female silks. I'd also like to congratulate and recognise all appointees who have skillfully juggled family and caregiving responsibilities whilst maintaining a career at the bar. Finally, can I encourage you to enjoy your new role? If my experience is any guide, the elation you presently feel will be, will be replaced by a fear that no one will brief you. Don't worry, they will. More importantly, the cases in which you are briefed will become increasingly challenging and as a consequence more stimulating and rewarding. I'm told, although I doubt it's true, that judges listen to you more as soon as you assume a silk gown. Uh, but enjoy yourselves. Once again, congratulations on behalf of all of us. We look forward to seeing you in court in the near future. The court will now adjourn. All stand. This honourable court is now adjourned. God save the Queen. <laughs>